Hi there and welcome back, fellow friends and thinkers. We're in a war against Ajam as the great Quara, Koyunlu the Horde of Black Sheep. We are here to free our brethren that are also Shiites to save them from the from the threat that is the Ajam Sunite Empire. Or is it a Sunite Empire? Yes, I think. And uh, so... As you can see, they are Sunni. So we have to save our brethren there. Our bold warrior, Sultan, isn't with his army because he didn't take this seriously. And he's just sent his two best generals and so far it's going well, but if they lose, he will come personally to make sure there is success here. We have uh, some free roaming people from Biapaz here. Not really great, but at the moment we need to take over Hamadan, the fort. So they, that they cannot uh, move back so quickly. Mm. Should we renew the war taxes? We should definitely renew the war taxes. We already had, it seems, two years of war taxes, but we want two more years. This may be a long campaign. It looked like we were just being able to quickly take Mianne and not get more, but then... The Timurids started striking back and now we're in good shape. Uh, where can we detach the siege? Wow, it's been a while since I... Played. Ah! Yeah, of course, we need to go to Kirman Shah. And we cannot for some reason. What? <laughs> we could go to the wasteland here. We could go to Kashan. I think we should maybe. No, we cannot split up. It's too risky. So we need to go this way to Kirman Shah. Is that true? Then we need to look if we can do something else. Well, um, let's just march. Let's run. Let's run over. And take these guys apart. A jump occupied Urmia. We don't want that. Let's go back to Urmia. Oh, the great statesman Bidlo Rojaki of Bitlis has died. A royal marriage with Bitlis has ended. That cannot be. Let's renew it. Bitlis is uh, here, one of our vassals. And we think it very, very bad that we had to lose him probably in the war. And we'll detach like two foot soldiers here and bring them over. And Iskander Yusuf will move here and we'll move two other foot soldiers out there to the Suleiman J. And then we'll be good. Definitely be good. Pilgrims, though, they are safe. Wait. Our efforts to protect those of our subjects who seek to perform their pilgrimage, the holy cities of Mecca and Medina have paid off. It is now long since there was last a raid and the realm is at peace. Excellent. It appears that, oh my god, Sultan Jahan Shah is now a sinner. 
will give us tolerance of the true fight minus two, which is pretty terrible for us. And we need to treat these Coptics harsh. Why is he a sinner? He should have probably went for the war first. That is what he's saying himself. He should have come with them. And so, as soon as there is room from one of his generals, he will come over and, and take this into his own hands. Can we move through here? No, not really. We need to go to Kermanche and take this over. They're moving to Hamadan. Ah, not good. Now we have freed our people. Now we have to send Iskanda. Oh, we should we should have sent our other leader. Wait. We want him here. So we can siege better. Kerman Shah. Now let's move over to Hamad. This is so terrible. I really hate it. This is really, really unnerving. So Bitlis is coming to help us. That is very, very good. And we are now going here. They are staying there, which is good for us. One of the first great fights of this war is coming. It's too late for you. Let's let's have a look. How is that fight going? It's more much read with three shock, a respectable leader. Was this Kandar Yusuf and Fire Yusuf is losing. Shock! We're in good shape. They are shocked now. Wow, fire again. Good, good shooting. Wow. And ah, there's a jump coming. Come on, you need to lose now. Guys, go away. There's a peace offer from Biapas. They will give us not much. Yapas, though, is occupied. And these are very useful provinces. Look at that. It's part of Persia. We'll decline that. They're extremely interested in their provinces. And especially in Astara, because we want to save the Shiites there. They're going to Sava. Come on, can you guys not lose now? It's the shock. Yes. We won. Now we have a little bit of time. They are moving where? They're, they want to take back... Yeah. Can you imagine what they... They want to take back Quam. We have the Timurids coming here still. The 
Ardalans are still coming. They want to help. Where do they want to go? Bold fighters. We will recover here, though. Hopefully very soon. They want to go to Korambad. These guys will go to Hamadan and then probably to Kirmanshe. 12k here. Ah, they also want to take over. Does it have to be like that? Maybe we should cut short now. But on the other hand, maybe not. Let's see what we can get from them. Would it be possible to do this? No. That's too much. That would form a coalition against us too. Alright, we have Mianne, we could get Ardalan. Not, not Ardalan. Maybe this province? Kwaswin. Is that also Shiite? Yes. I think the name of boldness. <sighs> Change culture in some of what? That would be something. For now, we have to go for harsh treatment again. How are the troops coming? We can gain even more war score. We've beaten the Biapazi. And Quasi win, giving us four war score. War exhaustion is relatively low. Can we get that bring that down? 75. Yeah, we'll do that. We will continue the war. Hopefully we'll be able to do what we want there. Now the Timurids are coming to Kashan. This is tactical maneuvering. We want to break free the Ilam. They have united. The question is, do we get a lot of reinforcements here? 420. Don't get me wrong. We'll reinforce with 420 men here. Which is not much at all. Oh, the Timurids are coming. Are they mad? They'll arrive in Quam. Maybe we should try to move over and and help them somehow. They are going this way and then can we just can we help them? Is that possible even? I'm not really sure. That is the dry lands. Hmm. For now, we'll move over to Savar. Come on, Tim Ritz, that is... What are you doing? New trade research is heretical. We've had complaints from several dignitaries in our country that the new practices of our merchants are clearly heretical and we should put a stop to them. Now, the question is how to interpret this. So, uh, we're a sinner. We're a sinner. Maybe we are a little bit... Um, yeah, we're a little bit pissed at the Imams calling us a sinner. 
They're also proud and very capable, so we'll ignore them. This will not stop us. Um, Iskander Yusuf. Can we move in here? Would that be good even? I don't think so. No, we cannot do that. That's... Ah. It seems like we have already done it. <laughs> I have to get used to this. Well, let's see how we fare, right? The Battle of Quam. Iskander Yusuf against Suleiman Ansari. Fire. Mm, fire is okay. The Battle of Quam. And shock. Wow. <laughs> we made a big point in shock. Oh, what a terrible. Oh, God. That's terrible. It's really terrible. Shock again. And they are coming to Semnan. This might break them even. Well, it was it was the bold fighter thing, probably. So the fire mm, and the shock. Not good at all. But we won. We won that. We won that war. Who wants now? Hizen Kaifa. I don't even know who you are, Hizen Kaifa. Is that... I don't know, is that part of the new Timurids breakup thing? Is it here? We'll just say yes. Um, that war with Funnel Hedges, Ak, Ak Koyunlu. Yes, okay, march through. We don't like Ak Koyunlu. Our mad brothers. So they are marching away now. We're at 50%. And. Mm, we're not in good shape anymore. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that and look at that. We have a very good result already. We could get more. It would be very risky. Though. Uh, we should make, move back to Tabriz. Wouldn't be wise to stay with that army. Small troop and the people from Bitlis should take over Ilam. And then we'll have an even better war score and we can see what we can do. Ah, Hamadan would also have Shia. Great protection against... Yeah, it would be really good if we could get like that. So we have that connected. If anything. That's also something our military mastermind would certainly know. So we might be waiting for just that. We have to recover in the... In the capital, actually, because there's no other choice. Let's see. Hazan Ali is... Uh, in four years, he'll gain another personality. So we're a sinner. We would love to raise and plunder and be less hostile to other religions. A peace offer from Bia Paz again? No. Nothing for you, Bia Paz. What do we get here? 
a lot of men. And we're a lot better now. Ah, oh, what is that? There's Mumlux here. He's in Kaifa. Oh, that was that. Mm, the Mamluks are already taking over. Not good. So, trade guilds and fraternities are coming here. Guilds of fraternities are a constant factor in the public life of the Sultanate. In many ways, these are small communities within the community, with their own rules, customs and even laws. It's also very common for these associations to indulge in mystic traditions, Sufism, and often unorthodox adaptation of the Sharia. Oh, mysticism, right? Something that sometimes makes it hard for the laws of the ulema to penetrate the urban milieu. An artisan in Mosul has reached out to the state, warning us of a local guildsman with a great influence on local affairs. Anyone wishing to take up a craft in the city is currently required to be approved by this man and then swear an oath of allegiance. Uh, what? <laughs> what? But uh, we're a sinner at the moment, so we're, we're unlikely to go the legalism way. We gain, though, 25 local autonomy in Mosul. And guilds strengthened there. And move 10 towards mysticism. Yeah, we'll do that because we're a sinner. So we don't care about your legalism anymore. We care about our brothers and sisters in the Shia, but not that much about the Imams. Imami, Im, Im, I don't know what the... F oh, Jafari theologians. We have, by giving Shivani scholars here from our ally in our madrasas, we are not only improving the te theological discussion in our country, but also improving our ties with the Sh Shirvan Sh Shaikdom. Ah, more legalism again, and more opinion. Lovely. Oh my god, our treasury is going down like madness. This is terrible. Come on, give us a little bit more balance. We, we hopefully will get a big lump sum of Ajam. Still we are... Oh, the enemy has a lot of infantry still. Hmm... But a jam doesn't have much. Same goes for cavalry. Cavalry. If condottieri, that is most of what they have. By no guy, and we haven't seen any no guy troops. If we see no guy troops. We need to break. We need to make a. We need to make a quick piece, probably. But for now... Let's stay. How much do we need here? 14,000. Mm. Yeah, we can just about go there. Uh, actually, we should move in now. Let's, let's go. This should be good enough. Yeah, we'll take one more loan. Oh. oh. Iraqi separatists. So we need a harsh treatment. Maybe we should stabilize again. That would be a little bit too much, probably. 94 now. That's... Oh. I don't know. And they are collecting their forces now. Are you moving to Quaswin? That is good to know. <sighs> Look at that, 49%. They are arriving in Savar. 
We're, we're quicker. Ha ha ha. The Battle of Quaswin. We have won against Bia Pass. And they are moving to Quam again. The Fortress of Quam. Suffered casualties and we are in a terrible shape financially. Still, we are so... So short before a complete win over a jam. Hamadan. We basically we want to send this troop there because otherwise we are helpless in there. It's a disease outbreak. Hopefully from the defenders, yes. And there's the Nogai troops. Where are they going? They're going to Krom. Need to move back. We'll flee. The, the Nogai troops are coming. Come on, 57%. Ah, we have to do it right now. It's... The Nogai troops are too much. They are... We cannot fight them too. Gone all the way to boldness. It's time to stabilize again. So B R pass would be very, very high cost. Same goes for no guy. So we will not take anything from them. Here's B R pass. We will have to s stop at it. Uh, Astara even though it would be very tempting. But we have to look around. Let's, let's see. Let's see what is possible here. Is that possible? Look at that. That wouldn't be possible. You can take that away. You can take Tehran. No. We can take Savar. That would alarm a lot of people. Ranabad, no. That too would form a coalition against us. Would still be possible. One, not really. And this... Yeah, we don't want a coalition against us. Not, not right now. We'll only take Ajam provinces and we can maybe maybe get some much needed money returning calls mm, cancelling subjects releasing nations annulling treaties mm, no I think we're we're perfectly happy with this So, um, yeah, I, I will, I'll think about it for a bit again, but uh, some kind of peace deal will be coming in the next episode, probably this one, but we'll see. And then we'll try to, to, to somehow stabilize the country. That will be... Ooh, a little bit of a challenge, yes. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you, dear friends and thinkers. We'll see each other again. May the horde of the black sheep be with you, be behind you, hopefully not. Well, then, <laughs> see you. <laughs>